Hey guys, Jenna here. Welcome to my channel where I take you on tours of tiny and unique homes. In today's video, we're returning to Oconee Bell Tiny House Community in North Carolina to take a look at a resident's beautiful tiny home. Amazingly, this home's small footprint packs a lot of punch. With two lofts and a ground floor bedroom, plus one and a half baths. Out of the hundreds of tiny homes I've personally seen and showcased on this channel, I've never seen a layout quite like this one. And let's not forget about their incredible outdoor space. I mean, I have a porch on my tiny house, but this one is a whole nother level. If you like videos like this one, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell so that you get a notification every time I post a new video. But right now, let's jump right in and take a tour. Hi, I'm Anna. I'm Nick. And this is our tiny house, Tiny Tohoma. The main driver for moving into a tiny house would be the freedom. There's a lot of aspects of a house that are very mentally draining and we wanted our house to just be a space that we loved and not something that was gonna like suck a lot of our energy. We've been married for just over five years and we've mm -hmm. had like seven addresses in that time. The idea of actually having one place that's our home to be able to take with us was pretty cool. We were looking for a way out of Chattanooga and had happened upon a Coney Bell tiny home community and thought it was just a very idyllic place that shouldn't exist and so we were able to get in relatively quickly which was a really big gift. Definitely the community aspect of our neighborhood here at Oconee Bell is something very special and we're really lucky to be able to live here and, and call this place home. Our home is 375 square feet I think. Is that right? Yeah is it's it less 36 than 36 by eight and a half feet. What's the math and... on that Jez? Yeah. No that's so wrong. 24 by eight and a half. So our house is 375 square feet if you include the loss and uh, without the loss space it's like 310 on the main floor. Our house is built by Mint Tiny Homes. We mostly just found a house that was similar to the one we wanted and then mm -hmm. customized it from there. They did a really good job with customizations and working with us and communicating mm -hmm. so it worked out nice. Okay. We do have a swimming pool in the house actually behind there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take a look inside. When we walk in, it's right into the living room. This couch we love. It is a nice deep seater, definitely a full-size house couch, but it was a must for us. We spend next to all of our time here, so we can stare right up at the TV, watch movies, play video games. We really enjoy that. I think my favorite feature is when we can just kind of pull out this whole entire couch and make it into a giant square of comfiness in the house. We've definitely had guests stay here too. This is the size of a queen, so it works out quite nice. We made ourselves a nice little gallery wall over here of all of our most favorite moments. The history of us throughout life, which I always enjoy looking at from the couch. In here, we've got a tiny itty bitty little space that is freakishly intentionally thought out. We're able to have our second bathroom some storage up here of just, again, kind of some random things, laundry storage, office storage, as well as our laundry. So Nick's desk is actually directly on top of our washing machine, which is a pretty funny thing, but definitely works. He's got some chairs over here that we're able to just pull down. He's able to just sit here and kind of slide the desk out a bit. Whenever he's not working, we can just kind of shove that back in and have it function as almost like a place where we can fold laundry in. Up here, we've got kind of the mirror of the same square footage, but we've got a piano up there, which I love. Uh, Nick and I both play piano and really enjoy that. It's a nice little functional space with our little window. And then now we're in the kitchen. We chose galley style because we need a million percent counter space. <laughs> we're big, big cooking folks. Everything's very intentionally thought out and we're so glad to have it. In the house, we definitely went through and wanted to have 
all the storage under the counters. We didn't necessarily want to have to see our dishes and our cups and all of those things. So we got creative with drawers. We have so many drawers, which is so nice not to be able to have to see it. A nice dedicated spot for trash and recycling which is so necessary. Lucky for us, we worked with our builder and got a big old pantry. I don't know if we'd be able to live in this house without this space. Something kind of fun that we have that you would never ever see in a tiny house is a large dishwasher. We thought it was a must. It's huge, it keeps everything out of the sink, which we love and is amazing. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Maybe if I could close it. <laughs> <laughs> So we can go on and move into the main bathroom. The bathroom's a real important space for us. We do all of our clothes changing in here. Um, as you can imagine, in a tiny house with a lot of windows, we need a closed off space to change. So this worked out real well. We are super lucky and we live in a place where we can have a flush toilet. So we got our second toilet over here as a flush toilet, which is 100% necessary. We also were able to splurge and we got a nice big barn door rolling shower door which we love and it's nice subway tile in there it's the biggest shower we've ever had and it's amazing and then with storage too we were able to get a lot of things up in our stairs that go upstairs to some loft space so we've got a few little spots in here where we're able to store bathroom things toiletries medicine random stuff so we can go upstairs and see the couple lofts So we've got a good amount of loft space, which is a blessing. For now, it works out really nicely as a guest loft or more often as a reading nook, just a little space to kind of escape. We've got all sorts of little bits of storage again up here, just some little bins and things. Behind the bed is a whole double thing of book storage. <laughs> we did not skimp on getting rid of a lot of books. And then we got the nice little twin bed up here. So it works out quite nice. and. Uh, we've got the skylight up here, so when it's clear, you can kind of see the stars and it's beautiful and we're real lucky. So yeah, that's this loft. And then we can go on over here and see the dog's room. In the future, we could definitely fit anywhere from a twin to a queen bed. For now, when the dogs are sleepy and they need to be up here, it's nice to have that space to create them. And then we've also were able to fit my childhood craft cabinet which was such a funny feat in a tiny house to get this giant cabinet up here, but it worked. And so that's a little bit of extra storage too. We are big sleeper people and need the largest comfiest bed possible. So we brought our traditional house giant king bed with us, uh, which is amazing and everyone said it wouldn't fit and it does. So we're so excited about that. And then another big thing about this space, the way we always envisioned it was to have kind of double doors opening it out onto a deck. So we've kind of got those over here and then a big picture window on this side. Over here in the corner, we've got some extra storage. So we're able to do some of our hanging clothes. We did not do a big downsize on the clothes. The exterior is board and batten, and it's just stained two or three passes of just a dark stain over top of it. It's held up super well. We just recently got finished with some projects. Done the skirting underneath the house. Anna has picked out most of the plants outside. We'll grow peppers and herbs and stuff over here usually in the summer. I built this deck and recently put the roof on it. We actually had the deck in the last location we were living in the house. And I built it so it's not too hard to take apart. It maybe takes like half a day or something like that. The deck is definitely our favorite room of the house. As you can probably tell, it's the most open area we have of our house. This is definitely a huge quality of life improvement for us. I'm a rock climber, so I've built some stuff to climb on. Anna redid this tub and turned it into a couch. Had to strip it down and paint it and everything. And we love the deck. We hang out here all the time. The dogs pretty much live out here. You can tell they pretty much own the place. Just got some plants to cover up the end here. I might put something else on the outside of there for skirting or something. These are our propane tanks. We got two 30 pound tanks. 
They last us maybe two, three months, something like that. And that's our air conditioner for our mini split. And then around back here, uh, we just recently got done building the shed, but uh, we've got a bunch of stuff stored under the house. So I, I can show you a couple things here. I might come up with a better option at some point, but this is kind of the simple thing for now. Just lift it on and off these screws. These are my tool chests. You just slide them, slide them in and out of there. They're in waterproof containers, so they uh, don't rust and get rained on or anything. Here's our shed, which we just recently built because we bought a couple bikes because we pretty much live in like one of the mountain biking meccas. Tons of world-class mountain biking around here within like 10 to 30 minutes. Got our bikes in here. I would say our plans for the future are to enjoy the tiny house and continue to grow with it. We're paying the house off in the next couple of years and so we'll yeah. be able to just be debt free. It's a really cool experience I'm glad we decided to do and I love our house. Our neighborhood is so drenched in community. I feel it would be a shame to ever leave. Thanks for watching this week's video. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you soon with another tiny or unique home tour. And if you're interested in seeing an overview of a Coney Bell Tiny House Village, including the cost to park your tiny home here, make sure that you check out the link in the description.